So here's a neat trick in Storyline where you can use object states and a simple trigger to reveal content at just the right time. What I've got here on this slide is a whole bunch of ingredients in this fridge. And there are six ingredients that are correct. Everything else is incorrect. Once the learner clicks on all six correct ingredients, I want to display this little message right here. It says, good job, you found everything. But I only want that message to show up once they've found all six correct items, because it wouldn't make sense if it showed up before then, right? So here's how we make that happen. What we can do is select our text box like I've done here, and then come down here to the States panel. And we're going to give this text box an initial state of hidden. And once we do that, it's going to show up here on my slide as kind of grayed out. That way I can still see it, but it's not going to appear to my learners at all unless I have a trigger that changes its state to something other than hidden. So let's look at how we do that. We need to make a trigger that tells Storyline to change the state of my text box to its normal state, but only when all of our six correct items have been clicked or visited, right? Now previously, I already set up a visited state on each of my items here in the fridge. You can see that if we select an item down here, I've got a normal, a hover state, and a visited state. And as you'll notice with the bananas here, the visited state actually changes the location of the object over to the kitchen counter. On other items that are incorrect, like the ice cream here, we've also got normal, hover, and visited, but the visited state doesn't move the item. It just places that um, orange X over top of the item to show that it's incorrect. So we're going to use the visited state on the correct items as the way to let Storyline know when to show our good job text box here. So when all the correct items are in their visited state, we'll change that text box from hidden to normal. And here's how we do it. The trigger wizard in Storyline makes it really simple. So over here in the trigger panel, we're going to click on this button to create a new trigger. And now we basically just have to tell Storyline what we want to have happen and when. We kind of just fill in the blanks. So the action that we want to take is we want to change the state of something. And the object that we're changing the state of is that text box that says good job. On this drop down, we're going to see a list of all the items on our slide. And as I scroll through here, you know, this red outline is appearing on my slide just to kind of help me know what I'm selecting. And the text box that we want to change the state of is right here. Text box four, good job. And we want to change the state of that text box to its normal state, not when the learner clicks, but when all of the states of the correct items are visited. So the correct items in this particular interaction happen to be the bananas, the grapes, let's see what else here, the ice, the orange, and the spinach. I think there's one more, the water. There it is. So when the state of all of these items are in their visited state, that's when we're going to change the text box to normal. So we click OK. And we're done. So let's go ahead and give this a preview and make sure that we're all set. So here's our slide. We'll go ahead and click some correct items. There's the banana, the ice. Uh, we'll click an incorrect item just so we can see the X on the visited state. The water is correct. The orange is correct. Spinach is correct. And here's the last correct item is the grapes. And once I click that, we should see our message appear right here on our slide in its normal state. And we do. So it acts just like we intended and designed. So object states and simple triggers like this one are a really powerful way to reveal content exactly when you want that content to appear to your learners.